Okay, hi everyone. Um, my name is Numpumele Loshope and I'm originally from Durban. I am the only child at home and um, yeah, so right now I've moved into Jobo because of this. And um, before I even got involved in caving and doing um, going into caves and explore, exploring and stuff. Um, I, w I was studying in Durban um, via UNISA, which is the University of so South Africa. That's where Malcolm and Nella studied also. Um, it's like a correspondent university, so basically you can study and also work at the same time. And I did a degree in um, Bachelor of Arts in Information Science. And even though I went into that field, my heart was always in paleontology and archaeology. So um, I finished the degree and I moved into what I always wanted to do. And obviously I'm still going to study further and I'm hoping all that goes well. And um, um, how I got here is that um, I my aunt works at the university and I used to talk to her and stuff about you know, you have people you talk to that you, you take as mentors. So she's like a mentor to me. So um, yeah, I used to talk to her about it and she'll ask me about my future plans and I told her about it. And um, she's like, ah, oh, you should apply. And I'm like, yeah, I think I should apply. Because I mean, being young, you can still study until whenever you want to. So I'm using that opportunity also. Um, so yeah, that's what I did. And um, because I didn't have any experience in caving or such in my other degree, I had to start everything from scratch. So that's how I met um, Professor Lee Berger, who is like the man of this whole <laughs> rising star thing. And um, yeah, he asked me a few questions about myself and I told him and I told him my interest. And he came up with the idea that how about I do caving and see how I like it and then we'll look into what I do next and so far all I can say it's been amazing and even though I get a few bruises there and there it's fun and even though I'm scared of heights also I mean it's always nice upsailing and screaming and shouting but at the end of the day good works job it's great and um, next year hopefully um, we're just going through the whole application process um, I'll be doing my honors in archaeology and paleontology and I hope all that goes well and I see myself soon soon doing my PhD and wearing that red gown. That's awesome. Can you tell us a little bit about how or about what it is you're actually doing in the caving part of things? Because I think a lot of the audience back in Texas and in the United States have never caved themselves so they really don't know much about it. So and, and since it's still kind of new to you I think it might be neat to hear what, what it is you're actually doing down in the caves. Um, well, basically exploration team is like, I don't, I don't know, like I call them the amazing people because we're really amazing. And what basically what we do is that, um, let's say in a week, like on a Monday, um, we know that we are in the field, walking on the field and we go looking for caves. And if we find a cave, we, if it depends on how big or how small a cave is, we go in and we check for fossils and um, we we look at different stuff in the cave and what we find and if we find something interesting obviously we take it up to the high people and they need to come and check in and, and tell us if the fossil is hominid or not and all sort of stuff but um, most of the guys in my team they can actually like they can actually tell if the fossil is hominid or not but if we're not sure it's better if we just ask and um, during other days we go into caving and basically what caving is you go into a cave and um, you either survey it to look for fossils and just enjoy the nice warm air in the cave because outside is really cold. Yes, because it's winter here in July, which for those of you in North America who may be seeing this, that seems a bit unusual. Yeah, yeah. So what, you said... Um, you had an interest in paleoanthropology from a while back. Mm -hmm. I'm curious, what, what got you interested in it to begin with? Um, well, my school, because I went to a girls' boarding school in Durban. Um, my school is a historical school, so it's part of the his, historical sites um, thing. So um, 
when uh, we had like events and stuff and I used to work at the school like I used to give up my breaks and go to work at the school museum and archives so um, there was a time when we took a trip and when we went to, we went to um, to the original homestead of the founder of our school and um, which he was also an American missionary by the way because our school is an American um, it was an, it's an American missionary school and um, when I, we got there, I, I got to meet a, uh, a guy who was an archaeologist from Limpopo. And the way he talked about it and his interest in it, and obviously me being in love with old stuff, um, I, stick to the, I, I stuck to that, and that's how I fell in love with the whole field. That's neat. And here uh, behind you, we have, who's that coming up? Me, Rick. Oh, the, that's Rick, okay. He's ruining so, my moment of fame. I'm sorry, I'm sneaking past. Enjoy you, the you, fleas. <laughs> <laughs> so, and you can see we have a very fun team. And what's it like working with this team? And you're the only one woman on the team, right? Yep, I am. It's actually very fun. It's actually very nice to be the only girl in the team because, I mean, they protect you a lot. And also, at the same time, they're trying to make you tough and all. And they always make fun of me somehow, but I, I'll get my revenge soon. <laughs> and I always tell them that we need to get another girl in the team, because, uh, yeah. And I get excited every time when we come to Rising Star, because I get to see Marina and stuff, yeah. Yes, and Marina, who, who hopefully folks will get to meet in another interview, is basically now the, the lead excavator. Yep. And so, um, so how many caves do you think you've gotten to explore since you started working on the exploration team. And I should have asked, when did you start working on the exploration team? Um, it sounds I, like it was recent. Yeah, originally I started in February this year. Okay, and it's now July. Cool. Yeah, it's, uh, it's July, so it's basically it's been six months for me. And yeah, so huh, I've lost count of how many caves, actually. Yeah, it's quite a few, mm -hmm. but not as many as the other guys have been to, so. But it's, it's been amazing. It's been really fun. It's been really fun. Yeah. Well, great. Thank you so much for your time. I know you have to get back down underground to help out with, um, with the excavations. Yep. But I appreciate your time and sharing with us. Thanks. Thanks a lot.